press all the way around. Probably the most important part of this that you have to get perfect. So yeah, now it's, since it's so damn cold, hit it with another round of heat and uh, then just go to town. There she is. Did a little uh, repair right here. There was a kind of a dip in there, so I filled it up. I'm gonna grind that smooth now. Simple as that. So this guy's done now. Gotta get him shipped out with one of these EF kits. And next on the list, the Scion TC tie rods got to be shortened, and we got to finish welding up this guy finally. All right, this is my method. Uh, it's kind of ghetto, but you know, I do what I can. Literally, just find random shit throughout the shack to stack up to get these to line up where I need them. Proper jig is definitely in order, but you know that takes time and, and effort, whereas this, I've been doing it the whole time, like this, and it works, so I'm just going to keep doing it for a while, but hey, I'll get one spindle welded up, and then I'll wait to do the second one until the first one's totally done and cooled down so I can set it up like this, and make sure that both sides are dead even, and if they're not, I'll make some adjustments, which I just did, it needed a little bit of adjustment to the bevel there to get it to sit just like this, but... Now we've got even angle on both sides, the height is uniform, the hub's laying flat on the table, so yeah, this is the method I've been using, as ghetto as it is, it works. So yeah, now this guy's all set up, just gotta hit it with the heat, get the welder going, and yeah, weld this bad boy up. the point now where we're mostly filled up but yeah still got to do quite a few more passes this is once I get to this point I'll uh, I'll go ahead and fill up the sides all the way and that way when I do the cover pass on the back side and the front side uh, the tie-ins are nice and pretty Yeah, also at the point now where my torch is hotter than hell because I have no uh, water cooler. So, usually get to this point and take a little 10 minute break, or not even that, like 5 minutes, just let my cord torch cool down a little bit. Don't want to let the spindle cool down too much uh, before we finish welding. So, I'll double check the heat right before I start, and if it's uh, cooled down too much because of how cold it is in here, then I will hit it with the torch again and finish it up.
nice. All done. Stick her in the sand like always. There we go. And once that cools in a couple hours or so, grab that guy as well. And this engine race kit, ship out. Tricky Ricky's getting that one. It's fucking hype because. I looked up to that dude's cars big time back in the day when I was building my first hatch. He does some clean shit, so the fact that uh, he's let me do his spindles and the engine rays, sick. And in other news, me and Peter cleared all this out yesterday. This shelf used to be down here with all of this kind of junk in it. Just like random stuff. But we moved it up there because we got a pellet stove coming, which is going to be fucking amazing. Because right now, all we're doing is relying on this dinky little heater. Which gets the job done for your hands when you need a little break, but god damn it's cold in here. And we can't run the welder with the heater on at the same time because the breaker pops. But with the pellet stove, yeah, it shouldn't take up as nearly as much electricity as that coil heater, so... Should be able to run the pellet stove while running the welder. It'll be nice and toasty in here. Still got some gaps along the door. Like pretty big gaps actually, which let out a lot of heat. And all through up there. <laughs> yeah, shaft is in shambles, but it's super messy right now, but it's come a long way from what it used to be. It used to be just nothing but nothing in here, but just shit, basically. Yeah, that's coming hopefully for the next couple days, I hope, because it got damn it's cold as shit. Brew, coffee, not to, not beer. Now we're gonna ship these guys out right now. These EF spindles I repaired and they're still re-angled. 